All right, good afternoon, everybody. Who in here is familiar with Rubric? Anyone? A couple people? Hey, love you, Brown, but guys, you work there. You're exempt. All right. So today we're going to be focusing on our API first architecture, and we're specifically looking at how we can integrate with VRA. Seems appropriate since we're at VMworld. I don't know. So, first thing, who am I? My name is Rebecca Fitzhugh, so you may not know me, but if you do, feel free to harass me on the internet, and here's all the ways that you can contact me. Okay. So, first thing is, is that we have a API first architecture. What does that mean? Right? So, it is a RESTful API first. So, everything that you're able to do in our UI, you're able to consume that from the APIs. And that really means that your options here are effectively endless. We can Yes, log into the UI, do all the things manually, but if you already have some kind of main point like ServiceNow or VRA or something like that that you're using provisioning, why would you want to then have to skip to another UI to do more, right? We, we always make fun of the console jumping thing, and that's one of the big complaints we've had with, for example, VMware. We love VMware, but why do I have to have 40 different consoles, right? So if you don't want to do that, we have a RESTful interface that allows you to consume and automate. Okay. So it is powerful. Everything you're able to do in the UI, you can do via our APIs. It's native okay, and extensible, maybe. There we go. So again, if you want to, these repetitive tasks you don't want to do over and over and over again by hand, you can automate them, right? Not a problem. And everything is built in, right? So from version 1.0, we've had these APIs and they're available to you, right? And they're available for you to consume. And what I really like uh, is that all of our documentation is native. I find that's a big problem that I have um, with a lot of different places and vendors and things that I want to use. I go, I don't know how to do this. Let me figure out how to use it. And then the next thing is, where's the documentation? And then even worse, if I want to start learning how to automate or find the information about APIs, I can't find it. All right? And so all of our documentation, yes, can you go to the website and find everything? Sure. But what is nice is if you have access to the UI, you also have access to the documentation, and all of it's kept up to date. So you're able to absolutely go to that UI, append it with BI and then API information, and you're going to be able to see not only what APIs are available to you and how you can use them, but it gives you that sample code, right? So it lets you look at how it will actually appear, and you can test right there. Right? So a lot of fun options. All of this is built off of Swagger, okay? And so Again, it's RESTful, so that means, yes, today I'm talking about VRA in just a second, and I'm going to demo how you could use Rubrik and VRA together, but that's not the only way, right? And VRA is not the only thing out there. So if you're looking at something like Ansible or Salt Stack or Puppet, right, you can absolutely use Rubrik and those together. You like that guy? The walking guy? Every time I can use this slide, I use this slide simply just for that little animation right there. So ultimately, what are your use cases? Right? For me, it is, I want a single interface. I want to be able to do everything through this one point. That's my initial use case. That's just me. You may have a lot more than just that, right? And realistically, when we start talking about automation and APIs, it's, all in, it's endless. I can do anything I want, okay? So this is our architecture here for our RESTful-based APIs. So we know that we have pretty much the same logic across the board, right? So it is very much resource-centric when we start thinking about things like VMware and how we consume. Um, it's very scalable and it's extensible to not just VMware, right? Like we mentioned it because it is RESTful rather than it being a proprietary or very specific API that allows us to do things like integrate and create custom scripts. So we have a wrapper for PowerShell. If you're more of a PowerShell kind of person, absolutely you can automate rubric using that and there's a lot of information on GitHub and VRO. Okay, not only do we have our own custom VRO module, but you can also purchase a third party one from Solve Labs and that gives you not only the module, but it gives you support for that module should you run into any problems. And then, of course, we have a module as well for ServiceNow. Right? Is anybody in here using ServiceNow? One person. Yeah, there's always one. Cool. So when we start looking at VRA and VRO, right? since that's what we're talking about and kind of focusing on here, we have our user, and we know that we can request an application right, or basically a workflow for, um, from a workflow, I should say. And then from there, during that new request, you're able to go ahead and assign an SLA. With Rubrik, everything is SLA-driven. So 
you create this SLA, it's a policy, and that's going to specify how often should I back up, how long should I retain it locally, should I archive, when should I archive, where should I archive, should I replicate, all of those things. And so when it comes time to assign it, I can assign it at a cluster level or a per VM level. So as I'm provisioning here through VRO and VRA, I can go ahead and select, for example, the gold policy. Right? And it's going to apply all of those specifications directly to that virtual machine. And of course, it's consuming from vSphere, right? So it's applying to vSphere to that virtual machine that's underlying. We're using RESTful API through VRO to do that, to orchestrate, to consume that API. But we're also using VADP to actually protect your vSphere virtual machines that are being provisioned and managed by VRA. Okay. So ultimately, can you use the UI and do everything that I'm going to show you? Yes. But if you're already using something like VRA, do it through VRA, right? Take a little bit of time but it'll make your life a lot easier in the long run. Okay? So you can do everything, of course, through our full featured. So here's where I'm going to try some magic. Um, we'll see, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Um, but we're going to try and do a quick little demo of what this could look like for you, depending on how much okay, you want to spend time in VRA and VRO. So first thing is, this is our UI, right? So I'm going to show you, for example, I can assign an SLA here to an individual virtual machine, right? So these are actually our, our uh, SLAs that we have created. And I can go to this virtual machine and I can apply it right here, okay? I can also do something called a live mount where I can run the virtual machine on Rubrik storage temporarily, but have it running on an ESXi host, right? And consuming compute for that. I can do all of that through this UI, but what I could also do is do it here. So as I'm provisioning a virtual machine using the catalog, notice that I've now created this and written this in for me to go ahead and select that Rubrik SLA domain. Great, done. And then once I actually have that built out and I have my virtual machines created, I can then go back to those, let's choose like a Windows one. And of course, of course I choose the one that I told myself not to choose. Isn't that how it always goes with live demos? There we go. And over here on the action side, started timing out on me. You know, I knew it. I didn't try to uh, get it to work enough. I didn't pray hard enough to the demo gods. So what it would look like when I uh, have it loading um, it would be right here. Okay, so notice whenever it loads up, I get the general tab. And over on the right hand side, when we look at actions, we have the ability to do that instant recovery to recover our virtual machine instantly. Or we can do the live mount where we have it running temporarily on rubric and consuming compute from the ESXi hosts. We can do on-demand snapshots, right? Recover files, change the SLA domain, right? So these are all things that I can, yes, do via RUI, but I can also do in VRA, for example, by consuming the APIs, right? And these are just some options that we have. That's it. Cool. Thank you.